Hello everyone, it's Mr. Fahd here. Today we will continue with the third lesson, computation of derivatives, the power rule. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to find the derivative of a function using the power rule at a given point and to find the nth derivative of a function. All right, so these are the basic derivatives. The derivative for the constant is zero and for the variable is x. Now, the, the reason behind this, uh, it's kind of a, a visual proof that the derivative is the slope of the tangent line. And when you have a horizontal line, the derivative will always be zero. And for the um, f of x equals x, you can see it's the um, line that has the slope of one. Now, in general, if you want to find the derivative for x power r, then you will take the power down multiplied by the x to power r minus 1. So you subtract 1 from the power. Let's practice on the general power rule. We have a couple of examples here. The first one, f of x equals 1 over x power uh, 19. Now in this question, you will try to rewrite the function as a negative power. And then you will apply the uh, power rule. So take the power, multiply it with the expression and subtract one from the previous power. So this will be negative 19 x power negative 20. Now the simplest form will always have the uh, positive power. So you can rewrite this back again in the denominator as a positive power. Moving next to the next question. Again, you will try to rewrite this as a power. So this will be x to the power of what's inside over the index of the uh, radical. So x power 2 over 3, now apply the power rule. This will be 2 over 3 x power uh, 2 over 3 minus 3 over 3, which is negative 1 over 3. All right, uh, again, simplest form. So in general, if you have x power n under the... Um, radical to index m, then this can be rewrite as um, x to power n over m. So the power uh, of inside over the index outside. All right, so the last question here, um, the derivative again, just uh, multiply with pi, pi is a rational number, and uh, you have uh, pi minus one, and that's it. All right, so if f and g are differentiable at x and c is a constant, then the derivative for the sum is the uh, derivative of the first plus the derivative of the second. You can think of it as if the derivative is distributed on the sum on the difference. And also um, when you multiply by a scalar, you can just uh, take it outside. All right, let's practice now with more questions. So in this question, find the derivative. And in here, you have to distribute the uh, derivative for the first, for the second. So using the power rule, you have two outside, bring down the power and then subtract one from the previous power. Uh, similarly here, three outside and a square root is half. So x power half. So half x power half minus one, which can be simplified as 12 x power 5, and then 3 over 2, because you have 3 outside, times uh, half. So 3 over 2, x power uh, half minus 1 is negative half. Now, the final uh, simplest form will be positive powers. So you can see negative half turned into a positive half down, which is basically square root of x. Okay, let's now practice more. So in this question, um, you would think you will need the, the quotient rule, but whenever you have one variable down, then you can just distribute the bottom over the top. So once again, let's distribute the bottom on the top. This will be 4x squared over x minus 3x over x and 2x squared over x. And now cancel out the um, common so you can think of it as also um, subtracting the power on the top minus the power 
in the bottom. So half minus one is negative half. And now I can uh, derive uh, first term here for x, uh, the derivative will be four, a constant derivative zero. And in the last uh, term, we will apply the power rule. So negative half, which is the uh, power, bring it down x to uh, the same power minus one which is negative three over two. And that's it, let's simplify it. And you can see the simplest form here will have the uh, positive power in the denominator and we need to write it as a radical. Okay, so I hope this is clear. Let's now move to um, the notation of the higher derivatives. So you can see here uh, with the first derivative, we have the prime notation so we say y prime, f prime, and the Leibniz notation will say dy over dx. For the second derivative, you can see um, how we write it up till the third derivative. Now, uh, for the fourth derivative and more, you will be putting the number of the derivative between two brackets. Okay. Here's a question to practice on the higher order derivatives. Compute as many derivatives as possible. Now, I encourage you to pause the video and try to do it on your own. All right, so the first derivative will be using the power rule. Um, the derivative of this, which is you have four times three, so 12 x power three, again, subtract one of the power. And then minus, you have 2 times 2, 4x power 1. And the constant will be 0. Now, let's take the derivative of this function. So consider this my primary function and take the derivative for it. So the derivative of this will be 3 times 12, 36, x power 2, minus 4. Again, the derivative of x is 1. Now, again derivative of this will be 72x and you can see on the last uh, I mean the fourth derivative we have um, reached a constant number so 72 and the derivative of the constant number is zero I hope you did great let's move to another topic now um, the application in physics if you have the position function and you derive it you will get the velocity as if the velocity is the rate of change uh, of the position in respect to time. And similarly, the rate of change for the velocity is the acceleration. Here's an example. Suppose that the height of a skydiver t seconds after jumping from an airplane is given by this function. So this is the position function in feet. Find the person acceleration at time t. Now, to find the acceleration, we have to derive twice. Try to do it. All right, let's solve it. So the height again, which is the position function. Now the velocity is the derivative of this function. The derivative here, this will be zero. And here we will get negative 20. And um, two times 16 is negative 32. Uh, t power 1. And now let's drive it once again. You can see the derivative uh, for the constant is 0 and the derivative for this expression will be negative 32. Don't forget the unit feet um, per uh, second squared. Now if we for example wanted to substitute at t equals 2 then we can find the velocity which will be v of 2, so substituting in this function. If we want to find the acceleration at 2, we will substitute in this function, which is a constant function. Uh, uh, this will give us negative 32 feet per second squared. Actually, this is the acceleration of the gravity, so free fall uh, acceleration. It will always be in feet negative 32. And the negative sign here um, means that the direction is opposite to 
the uh, function. All right. Now before we continue, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. As a reminder, we offer private and group online math lessons on Zoom, where we cover all UAE national curricula American and British curriculums. We also have the best MSAT math test preparation course with a 50% discount for groups. The first session is always free. So if you are interested in a free lesson, click the link in the description below. To book a lesson you can always send us a direct message on Instagram at Mr. Mathematics. Okay with that said let's get back to our lesson. All right, let's move to another uh, question here. Find the equation of the tangent line to the graph and we have the function at this point x equals 1. Now this question we can easily do it using our calculator so shift and you will get the derivative write the expression um, we will substitute the point which is at x equals 1 and that's it so this will be the slope of the tangent line and of course we have to use the equation of the tangent line to uh, write it now pause the video try to do the question on your own um, we already did this before you can find it in the video about tangent line and velocity so the first step to do here is to substitute the point to find the um, y coordinate so we have the whole point one and two and now we will find the derivative of the function so let's rewrite this as x power negative one and the derivative for the constant is zero here it will be negative four and in here um, you have two outside negative one x power negative two and this will be uh, simplified like so and now i can substitute the point to find the slope of the tangent line at x equals equals 1 which is negative 6 again we already found this using our calculator now uh, to write the equation of the tangent line you can uh, use many formulas so y minus y naught equals m x minus x naught it's one of these formulas you can use y equals mx plus b um, substituting the point so at 2 and 1 y 2 x 1 and I have the slope as negative 6 and distributed inside so distribute and isolate y and this will be the equation of the tangent line so you can see from the graph uh, that the tangent line slope here is negative and um, the y-intercept uh, at uh, 8 okay that's all let's now move to the last idea in the lesson so use the graph of the function f of x to sketch the graph of the first derivative and the second derivative all right so you should be able to do this uh, because we explained it in a previous uh, lesson the derivative so um, let's recap on what we did first we tried to analyze the behavior of the graph so we will say uh, what is the turning points and these points are important because the function has a horizontal tangent line at uh, uh, these points. So we can plot this on a number line and show the decreasing, increasing intervals and the um, turning points. And now we can translate this as value for the uh, derivative, which is the slope. So whenever it's decreasing, the slope is negative. Whenever it's increasing, it will be positive. And now, according to this number line, I can then create a, a sketch for the derivative. Now, in order, to, in order to do the second derivative, I will consider this to be my function and repeat the process again. I encourage you to pause the video and do it on your own. Okay, so let's first uh, plot the uh, turning points on a number line. We know at these points the derivative will be uh, zero and now let's translate this as values and now the sketch for the second derivative will be like so you can see it's negative meaning uh, below y-axis uh, in between negative half and positive half and above x-axis so it will be a parabola 
Okay, let's do one last example before we finish. So in this example, we've been asked to determine the value of x for which the slope of the tangent line does not exist. When we say slope of the tangent line, we mean the derivative. So let's take the function and derive it. So according to the power rule, this will be 2 over 3 x to power 2 over 3 minus 3 over 3 or 1, which will give negative 1 over 3. Now to understand this, you can simplify it. So 1 over n is the same as x under the nth root and because of because um, the neg and since it's negative, this will be down here. Now you will ask yourself when this expression is undefined at the zeros of the denominator, right? And the zeros of the denominator is at x equals zero. So at x equals zero, you will get a vertical tangent line or uh, you have actually a cusp here. That's it. Thank you for watching. See you next time. <laughs>